site for a night. Hello and welcome back to your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. I got another viewer request here and I need to tell you right up front that this video uh, is beyond PG rated. I guess we'll say that. I think I'll mark it in our current day and age, I'll mark it at PG-13. Let's just say that. Uh, but let me read what the email said, or at least the gist of the email. It says, uh, hey, Doug, can you give us some Pennsylvania Dutch words or phrases you might use when you are irritated or frustrated? Well, the Pennsylvania Dutch language allows us the opportunity to be very colorful in our uh, in voicing our frustration with things or with people. So... I'm going to jump right into it. Um, let's go. <laughs> and and if you had old grandparents that were Pennsylvania Dutch, some of these phrases are going to come right back to you. So uh, some things. Here, we'll look at this first, this first slide here. These are two phrases that if it's like, oh, my goodness, oh, my gosh, something just happened, you would say, I, 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 and I know you've heard all that before. I, 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 or I, yama, yay. Oh, I yama yay. Those are both phrases that you would say just like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I yay yay. Or I yama yay. I like, I, we often use the phrase I yay yay. Someone tells a story and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I yay 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 yay. Um, or a bad joke. <laughs> that gets that gets used a lot when I tell jokes. All right, next uh, two more phrases for you. Let's uh, imagine uh, this next phrase. Imagine you want to, somebody's telling you something and you're just like, "Oh, come on. Don't speak so dumb or don't speak so stupid. Don't say such stupid things." Schwätz net so dumm. Schwätz net so dumm. And the next the other phrase there below it, that is really something. Wow, that is really something. Cell is really epis. Cell is really epis. Imagine you're uh, angry with somebody, and uh, this is a good phrase. Uh, my grandparents use this often. I still use it. The translation is, do what you want. You're going to do it anyway. Um, you've been in situations where maybe you were in an argument with somebody, and you're just thinking to yourself, you know what? Just do whatever you want. You're going to do it anyway. Well, that phrase in Pennsylvania Dutch is, do grot we do bit. Do dusht any ja we do bit. Do grot we do bit. Do dusht any ja we do bit. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Use that one. Uh, here's a great phrase, too. It, it Depending if you want to say, this stinks, or that really stinks, this stinks, das stinkt, or sell stink now you could be using that if something literally stinks but also think in a situation like boy that really stinks sell stinked or des stinked that's a good one a good question like what's wrong what's going on here was is let's was is let's Here's, I love these. They, man, when this, this email came in, I reached out to friends of mine and just said, hey, send me all the phrases you think are good uh, for Pennsylvania Dutch phrases like what we're talking about here because I knew they would give me ones that I probably wouldn't think of off the top of my head. And a lot of these, when they came in through, the, through email responses, it made me laugh every time I opened the emails. But anyway, okay. Ach, sell is dumb. Ach, sell is dumb. Oh my, that is really stupid or really dumb. And sell schaffnet. Sell schaffnet. That won't work or that doesn't work. Okay. Now we'll get to the word that I'm sure all of you heard your grandparents saying. So, do we have swear words in Pennsylvania Dutch? Yes. Are they traditional like English swear words? No, not really. Uh, one word that carries the weight of a swear word, ironically, is the word for thunderstorm um, and the Germans standard German has uses this phrase as well so here are three phrases using the word thunderstorm and if I had a dollar for every time I heard my maternal grandfather say these three phrases I'd be buying us all around a beer tonight but anyway so some phrases using this I do not better I do not better and I say this a lot just when things just aren't going right and you're like oh my high dona vera. You can step it up a notch and say, Dona vera nochamal. 
Duna Vera Nochamal, which is thunderstorm again or once again. You're not one thunderstorm isn't enough. It's coming twice. Duna Vera Nochamal, and then we're gonna go all the way to the end of the spectrum. Highly Duna Vera, highly Duna Vera, which is holy thunderstorm. Now, whoo -hoo, that's pretty rough. You use that one, you know, you know that guy's mad if you hear somebody yelling that. And if they're really mad, they're gonna throw that Nochamal at the end of that and say highly Duna Vera Nochamal. Highly Duna Vera Nochamal. I know many of you watching this video have heard that phrase in your childhood or years ago, or maybe just yesterday. So that one probably sticks in your minds. We'll move on. The Pennsylvania Dutch do use the word for devil uh, in when used when talking about these kinds of situations. Here are two. Was der die Henker? Was der die Henker? Which is kind of along the lines of what the devil. Uh, and here's another one, literal translation, what the devil, was zum Teufel, was zum Teufel. Now, there are some areas and regions that instead of having a W there in the word for devil, they'll have an F, and you'll hear it pronounced Teufel, Teufel or Teufel. It depends where you are regionally, but that's the, those are the phrases you can use to kind of the idea of like, what the devil. So, let's get... We're going to, this is where it's going, it's turning PG-13 now, maybe even, yeah, we'll stay PG-13. Here are three phrases that, uh, this is a little bit more swearing, I guess we'll say. Gott verflammte Stinkkäfer. So my one friend sent this, with, oh, this would made me laugh. Gott verflammte Stinkkäfer. So a Stinkkäfer is a stink bug. Uh, and the first part, Gott is God. And I think you can figure what verflammte is. If someone yells, Gott verflammte Stinkkäfer. Boy, that's a good phrase. The next one, verdammtsei, uh, would translate into damn it. Verdammtsei. Uh, and maybe you had grandparents that put the word got in front of that. Uh, and you can probably figure out then what that means. I'm not going to say it in English, but fatamsai. And then, yeah, we'll throw it. <laughs> uh, uh, think about it, you're in a situation you're like, oh, my gosh, this is really crappy. I'll say it that way in English. Ach, so in scheiß. So in scheiß. Um, yeah, I, I think you can figure out what that means. And I'm going to close out this video with the phrase that is the one that's the deepest in my heart and the one that my maternal grandmother and my maternal grandfather would say the most. And uh, for the longest time as a kid and growing up, I just knew what, I knew when you used this word or phrase, but I never put two and two together as to how, what it actually translated into. Uh, and then I learned later on what it actually translated into. And then I thought, holy cow, that's not the best thing to say. But anyways, I'm sure you've heard this before. Hari eses. Hari eses. And that's just, that is when I'm really, you know, disgusted with something or things just aren't going right that is that's my that's what i say without even thinking about it hari yeses now here's the dirty little secret if you want to know it's actually a compound of of two words har which is the word for um lord or master like in standard german herr da har and yeses is a corruption of the of the name Jesus. So Lord Jesus, literally what it means, and you can think about what, you know, if you were translating that straight into English, you know, in a situation, oh my, yeah. So Hari uh I know that I'm taking the Lord's name when I use it. Now I know that. I didn't know it back when I was a kid. Uh, but it's just a phrase that just rolls off my tongue too easily sometime. But uh, I say a prayer every night before I go to bed, so hopefully um, I'm okay. I'm, yeah, we'll go with that. Hari yeses. All right, I left you with some great phrases that you can use. Um, like I said, they're not, it's not like you were, were terribly swearing here. It's phrases that, I mean, if you use them around people that don't speak Pennsylvania Dutch, you're going to be fine because they're not going to know what it means. But I don't know, there's just something about Pennsylvania Dutch and particularly these phrases that just make me feel better when I say them. If I'm in a situation in, Eng you know, in English, I'd say, oh my gosh, they, I get it, that, that, that expresses my, my feelings, but I, yai, yai, that just has a deeper stronger meaning to me and it's much more um it's better i don't know better you say that and it's just it, you uh, use these phrases share them with your friends 
teach some people some good Pennsylvania Dutch. Think about the average day, how many times you're in a situation where you could really just say, I, 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 I. I do that multiple times a day. I have to remind you, I teach teenagers. I say it. If I don't say it out loud, I say it in my head a lot. <laughs> but anyway, hey, keep the questions coming. If you have an idea for a future video, email me. Um, keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't, so you get an update every time a new video comes out. And we'll keep those Pennsylvania Dutch uh, videos coming and, and spreading the love and spreading the PA Dutch love. Until next time, do not bet on. You gotta keep speaking Pennsylvania Dutch. Do it. Mox good. Mox good.